How's it going? It's Chuck from Family Home Improvement. Uh, we're just here this hot summer evening to help you guys out with a few uh, little tips and tricks to cool down your house this summer. Um, as some of you know, we live in the Central Valley. It gets really hot out here. Uh, upwards of 108, 110, 113. You guys have all been there. Um, and we all know anybody who has one of these old swamp coolers that when it gets past about 103, 104, this thing kind of stops to do the trick. Uh, we have a couple things that we want to share with you that if you guys just try these things, we can lower your, the temperature in house a good 10 degrees. So come on over here. Uh, our first our first trick that we have for you is Start the that cooler about 7 o'clock in the morning when the temperature is still relatively low. What happens is it keeps the house at that temperature and that the house never has a chance to heat up in the first place. So if you go ahead and start the, the cooler when it's already 90 degrees, 90 degrees inside the house, you're going to have a lot less success in trying to cool, cool things down. So first thing, you're going to want to start your cooler earlier in the day and leave it running. Okay. Second thing, uh, some people will say that sometimes when it gets above those temperatures that the air starts to dry out and the, the, it has a problem of um, heating the air back up. So it's almost as if the water doesn't even have a chance because it's evaporating heat. before it even gets to where it needs to be. So what we can do to combat that is come over here. Get your good old hose. And you're just gonna come through and soak the cooler pads by hand to give it an extra boost. This immediately helps and you'll feel it right away. Come to this side. Go ahead and soak the pads pretty good and you should be able to bring the temperature down in your house a couple more degrees on top of that. Um, it's not going to bring it down to 68 degrees or anything like that, but it's going to feel better. One more thing that we do. Is you get a couple of bottles, regular water bottles, and you freeze them. I like to use the two liter bottles, but this is what we have, so we'll go ahead and use these. You go ahead and freeze them, take them out of your freezer, take a panel off and you drop these guys right in there. You could do three, four, five, six, a handful of them. And the good thing is, is it displaces the water and actually less water will start to run because of that. So it saves you water and it cools down the water that's already in there. This in turn cools down the air and the air comes out a lot cooler. goes back on just like that. So there it is. We have three tips on how you can use your old swamp cooler to keep your house livable. I know, you know, we live in the Central Cali sun and when it gets to 108, 110, 113, these guys sometimes just don't cut it. But you use our tricks, we might just be able to help you out a little bit. So first trick, start your cooler earlier in the morning six o'clock in the morning seven o'clock in the morning and you leave it on throughout the day your house never has a chance to heat back up again second tip you're going to water it, the cooler pads by hand go ahead and soak each part of the each part of the cooler each panel and that should bring you down a couple degrees the last tip freeze a two liter jug a milk jug or a couple water bottles freeze them bring them out drop them right in there put the panel back on and that'll bring you down a couple degrees too. So go ahead and try the tricks out. If any of you um, try these things out, I wanna know how it went. Did it go good? Am I full of it? Um, also, if you have any tips, tricks, questions, anything you would like to add, go ahead and comment, hit like, share, 
go ahead and help us out, Family Home Improvement. And if you haven't added yourself to our group, you can uh, do that any time. We would appreciate it. Thank you.